Calling today's blog a tale of two RVs. It's that time of year again. People are tailgating. People are bringing their RVs out and they're going to the ball game. And we saw one of the coolest old Airstreams that have been totally decked out in uh, an Oregon Ducks paint scheme. Yeah, I'm sure someone out there can probably pinpoint the approximate year, but I would say, you know, 50s, 60s. And that's one thing about Airstream can take an older unit, refurbish it, and it's still a party machine several decades later. After leaving the campground, we went to a dealership for high-end RVs. I mean, high, high, high-end. The very highest end. The stratosphere, the pinnacle, the mountaintop. The name of the place was Marathon, and what they build are buses called Prevo. Looks like Prevost, but it's pronounced Prevo. Um, so I, I can control a tremendous amount from right here. Here's my blinds. I can, I can run all the blinds up or down from this location. So you've got one of these restaurants in the, the salon area and one in the bedroom. So you can literally just do almost anything right here. Well, the Prevo buses were quite impressive, although for 1.7 million, they should be impressive. I mean, they're definitely nice, you can't deny that. They have every amenity you can think of. They have these huge, you know, flat screen TVs in the bedroom and the living room. In fact, you have two TVs in the living room. But they only had a two burner stove top and there wasn't an oven in there. It was like a convection microwave. So I thought for 1.7 million, that was kind of a letdown. You still have to dump your own sewage. Although they've got some kind of fancy sewer hose that comes out and wipes your butt for you or something, I don't know. I was struck by the contrast. Even though the Prevo cost almost two million bucks, the real head turner was probably that Oregon Ducks Airstream. 